Guys, welcome back to my channel. It's the Hollywood Chatter. You know the tea is hot here. All right, so today, checking out a little something. May speaks on Dwight Howard's secret Hollywood parties. Dwight Howard's been in the news a lot lately, man, and it ain't for basketball like it needs to be because he ain't really playing right now. He is, is, is living a lifestyle. And, and, you know, there's an issue here. I don't really... I want you to know this before I start. I don't care about people's lifestyle. Everybody has their own lifestyle. People do whatever they want to do. I don't see what the problem is, but everybody's talking about it. Everybody seems so concerned about how Dwight Howard is living his life. So in this video, apparently Mace is speaking on some Hollywood parties they got going on. We'll check it out, guys, because this is the Hollywood channel. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get into it. Absolutely. I would tell him, uh, confess to the press. Confess to the press. Confess to the press, man. Stop playing, man. We tell people it don't matter, but behind <laughs> your back, it matters. He probably will make more money than what he make. I think so. I mean, probably. way more money. He's tall. He'll be like the statue. <laughs> it looks like Mace has just spilled the tea on Dwight Howard's recent escapades. Word on the street is that the NBA star might have dipped his toes into some exclusive yet controversial shindigs thrown by industry power players. So what exactly did Mace say? On October 25th, a new episode of It Is What It Is saw Murda Mace give his thoughts regarding Howard's suit. The ex-bad boy artist brought up that Dwight isn't currently in the NBA. Yeah. He hypothesized that his business in the bedroom could be why he isn't getting opportunities in the league. Mace then explained that what people do behind doors does matter, and people saying it doesn't are spreading lies. We got to stop telling people, I don't care what you do on your own time. Because <laughs> we do care. The Harlem World rapper then added, and women, you got to stop. We got to stop telling ends. What you do in your own personal time has nothing to do with me. It does matter. These are the lies that are going on in society. We tell people it doesn't matter, but behind your back, it matters, it matters. It doesn't. People will say, it don't matter. But as soon as they find out, it matters. So they outing them. When it comes down to making money off the story, it matters. When it comes down to who dating you, it's gonna matter. When it comes down to if you're gonna be in the locker room with them, it matters. Because there's about 30 teams who didn't sign Dwight Howard because it matters. Meanwhile, the following you know? day on October 26th, Howard took to social media to address the speculation that he was gay. He also seemingly referenced the Mace's comments about his business behind closed doors and that it does impact others. The former NBA All-Star also claimed the allegations weren't true and called people weird for wanting him to disclose his private life. For no websites, I don't got to tell nobody where I put my wood at since y'all want to get to it. I don't put my wood at. <laughs> that ain't nobody's business where I put my shit at. He then added, who cares who I was text messaging? You're just mad because I wasn't texting you, ugly A. I don't got to deny it. I don't got to talk about none of that crap. This ish didn't even happen. You worried about the wrong stuff. That's why it's called an accusation, allegedly. Anyway, for context, according to the New York Post, the accusations against Howard are connected to a July 2021 incident between himself and a man he met on Instagram named Stephen Harper. Along with assault and battery, the suit accuses the athlete of intentional infliction of emotional distress and false imprisonment. However, the former Los Angeles Laker denied any wrongdoing or emotional distress caused during their encounter. An attorney for Howard, who currently plays in the Taiwanese Pro Basketball League, said his client is looking forward to presenting the truth in court. What was a private consensual encounter was made public for profit and Mr. Howard looks forward to bringing the truth to light in a court of law, an attorney for Howard, Justin and Bailey told ESPN, the allegations against Mr. Howard are contested. Mr. Howard intends to present the truth. Despite being an easy target due to the subject matter and his status as a celebrity, Mr. Howard chose to trust in the justice system and will rely on all future court filings to speak for themselves. Okay. For context, court records show that the communication between Howard and Harper began in May 2021. Stephen claims to have contacted the basketball superstar on May 29, 2021 via Instagram. The pair conversed before Dwight requested pics of the man and insisted that he was into freaky content. Harper alleged that the athlete texted him if he was interested in a three-way with a man or a woman. The man allegedly asserted that he wasn't interested, but during their encounter, Harper claims that a man dressed as a woman named Kitty joined the mix. 
Harper allegedly wanted to leave, but Dwight convinced him to stay as Kitty performed Oral S on the NBA All-Star. Meanwhile, these recent revelations have been linked to the ongoing rumors of Hollywood gay gatekeeping, and this very well could be connected to the NBA as well. That's cool. That's it is known that prominent what? figures in the entertainment industry, including Jay-Z, Will Smith, and Sean P. Diddy, have established connections within the NBA, which is why they often attend basketball games. What's interesting is that some of these influential individuals are rumored to have a role as gatekeepers within the industry as well and what yes but i still don't understand why does everyone why are we acting like it's a big deal if it, i mean what i do understand i'll tell you the only part of this that really is a big deal is that whoever man or or person that he was communicating with trying to use him for money and use him for clout and it, that that see that's the problem that that's the problem because if you're going to do this being the superstar that you are dwight howard might be a good idea to bring up some ndas you need some make them sign an nda with a huge number attached to it so if they ever did something like this then they gotta tell they they gotta pay up they gotta pay up big time i just don't think that what people do like like he said what people do in your private time doesn't matter why does it matter? I don't know. I don't know. Does it, does it matter because he's because he's lying about it or because he won't say anything about it? He's not lying about it. But does it matter because is that the reason? Because he won't say anything about it? I just don't understand. If I'm performing well on the court in the Taiwanese basketball league, who cares if, 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 if you're going home and being with a man? Hey, just be here for, for work on time and, and score points. That's all we need you to do. I don't care what else you do. These influential individuals are rumored to have a role as gatekeepers within the industry as well. And what do these alleged gatekeepers want? Well, they allegedly want same S relations in turn for success in the industry. In fact, in a recent interview, Boozy indirectly talked about this while discussing how Dwight Howard might experience career advantages by coming out as gay. Absolutely. I would tell him, uh, confess to the press. Confess to the press. Confess to the press, man. Stop playing. Boozy began by acknowledging that the present era is a unique and favorable time for those who identify as gay. That's true. He pointed to the example of Lil Nas X, a popular artist who has embraced no. his sexuality and received significant support from fans and the music industry. But that industry. is true. Lil Nas X's journey and success served as a backdrop for Boozy's reflection on Dwight Howard. Boozy emphasized that Howard's career could potentially benefit from openly acknowledging his sexuality. He believed that had Lil Nas X not come out as gay, he might not have achieved the level of success he enjoys today. Boozy's opinion on the matter was clear. He agreed with the idea that Dwight Howard could experience career growth and financial gain by declaring himself gay. He probably will make more money than what he's making. I think so. I mean, way more money. He's tall, he'll be like the statue. <laughs> the interview concluded with a reference to the fact that 30 NBA teams had passed on Dwight Howard at some point. While the reasons for this decision remain uncertain, Boozy implied that Howard's reluctance to answer questions about his sexuality could be a factor. Now, there is nothing wrong Maybe with these he's done in the league. Been However, in there are rumors of certain industry gatekeepers who are allegedly making celebrities engage in S intimacy with them in order to attain success. Another celebrity who has allegedly encountered these gay gatekeepers is rapper and actor T.I. Reportedly, T. according to T.I., music mogul Diddy allegedly pushed his boundaries to the extreme by coercing none other than Jamie Foxx into an unforgettable game of naked basketball. Bro. He allegedly explained that Diddy, known for his extravagant no. parties and larger than life Not naked basketball. came up with this outrageous <laughs> idea as a way to break the ice and have a memory. Not naked basketball. No, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. This just took a second to kick in. I'm like, ah, P. Diddy said, let's play naked basketball. <laughs> nah, bro, nah. But how do we know? And, and I'll, I'll say this. How do we know that 30 NBA teams passed on him because of this? How do we know that they didn't pass on him just because he's been in the league for a long time and in his last season or two with the Lakers, 
didn't really do much. I mean, let's be honest. Like, I'm sure his points per game were probably less than 10. So, I mean, at an average, like 10 or 12. Maybe more than that. Don't don't quote me. But I'm just saying. I don't think he was a big difference maker in his later years. Everybody has to retire at some point. He's been, he was good for a long time. Horrible night. If you want to know, like, who was probably at these games, just look at, like, who P. Diddy and Jamie Foxx have been hanging around for years, especially the like the super successful ones. Supposedly, according to T.I., Jamie Foxx was a good sport and didn't back down from the challenge. He decided to embrace the moment and jump right into the naked basketball game. Now that's some serious confidence right there. <laughs> he would invite over a lot of like Hollywood <laughs> elite to his house for a basketball game, but it was men only. In any case, this no, is not the first time a hip hop mogul has been accused of allegedly being a gay gatekeeper. Diddy allegedly has a dark side, and it involves coercing those around him into engaging in S activities. You're telling me we got a kick in this shit. He was like, yo, why don't we like go shopping or some shit? I mean, like, I pay for it. And I was like, what the f did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I got the f away from him. That was like, this is What's more, Diddy likes to throw weird and bizarre parties to soothe his desires. There have also been rumors going around for years suggesting that Diddy used these gatherings as a way to indulge his urges. And not only this, he has been investing a hefty sum in such parties. And Jamie Foxx revealed this himself. But Puff say this party, Playboy, this party right here, I see a million and a half dollars. I said, what? You spent a million and a half dollars on this party? Although Fox makes these events sound like something out of a Hollywood epic, what actually occurred behind closed doors was allegedly considerably more horrific. Sources claim that Diddy used these events to satisfy his S needs with both men and women while concealing his true identity. And the fact that Jamie Foxx was reportedly present at one of these parties and saw the chaos for himself lends credence to the rumors. Fox seems to have confessed that he did play a trick on Diddy by pretending that he was a videographer at a party organized by Diddy in an attempt to become associated with him. Popped out the town car with a camera, said, yo, Puff, yo, you gotta let me film this, the whole thing, we need to document this, playboy. In any case, Fox isn't mm. the only one who has experienced this alleged hidden side of Diddy. Zebit once said that Diddy took him to a party he would never forget. Diddy first invited him to his house, and when he thought it was getting quite difficult to lure him, he then took him to a club. But he ended up finding out later that the club they went to wasn't your typical nightclub. Instead, it turned out to be a very overtly homosexual bar. He said in an interview, so then, Diddy is doing his business, we go down and get a drink. We sitting there bobbing to the music and then Superhead points over to the corner. There's two dudes kissing. I'm like, what the F is this? Then she point in another direction and there's another dude over there, BT knocked dancing. Point over the corner, it's two dudes kissing. You know what I'm saying? Point in another direction, it's another dude over there like. Zibit was stunned, but he didn't give it much thought until he saw that man dancing BT naked in the middle of the club. At that point, he started to pay attention. When he came to his senses, he discovered that Diddy had played a joke on him like, nah, and took him bro. along with him to a gay bar. Well, Diddy was captivated by this information. However, things apparently took an awkward turn when Diddy expressed displeasure about Zibit's talk, allegedly causing a rift between the two. Puffy calls me outside. He's like, hey, man, you know, the, um... That, that girl you you know about the girl you I was like yeah man oh, yeah, everybody know but you know what I'm saying what's happening you know he's like uh you know that's the devil man now aside from this Diddy allegedly had an affair with Usher when he was still in his we, teens we heard about which this, many but... tend to believe catapulted Usher to success. Diddy and Usher shared a bed when Usher was 15, and Diddy was in his late 20s. Despite Diddy's best efforts to make it sound normal, there isn't a Never single did. scenario in which it makes sense for an adult Diddy to share a bed with an adolescent Usher. In day one, we used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, check out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight. <laughs> Usher also admitted that he and Diddy went to when Usher was 15 years old, which is what we all know is against the law in the United States and in many other countries as well. Diddy even pushed substances and booze on Usher while he was just a teenager. Usher emphatically denied that he would never send his children to a school like Diddy's. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to puffy camp? <laughs> you Hell know? no. And what is even more heart-wrenching here is quit. that Usher's parents were totally unaware of what their child was going through. Jodeci, Mary okay. J. Blige, they ain't know nothing about this but even apart from that, Diddy has allegedly been the subject of a few other weird gay escapades. 
You see, Jaguar Wright once shared that a friend of hers who worked with Diddy at the time witnessed him having S relations with Christopher Williams and leaked the footage in a bombshell tape. This incident must have had a traumatic impact on the employee. And when she walked in, she saw uh, Christopher Williams performing for on pop. According to Jaguar, her buddy was compelled to leave the room since Diddy and Christopher Williams showed no sign of terminating their intimate session. Amid a swirl of accusations, there's a growing belief that industry gatekeepers have managed to exert their influence on Dwight Howard. Speculation suggests that Howard's achievements might be intertwined with his rumored intimate encounters with men. These persistent rumors have ignited a firestorm of discussion, leaving many wondering if there's more to his career than meets the eye. As the public remains captivated by this ongoing saga, questions persist about the extent to which Howard's success may be connected to his private life and the enigmatic world of industry gatekeepers. The truth behind the whispers continues to elude us. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye. The real truth is that we may never know the truth. But again, in most cases, it just really doesn't matter. I mean, I don't know how many times I can say that. I can comment on everything in this video that's happening, but it just, it, I don't really see where it matters. I don't really see why anybody really cares how people live their lives outside of the things they're doing. Why do we put so much emphasis on this? Why do we say that we need to know what the White Howard's doing, what Pete Diddy's doing, who cares? This is the Hollywood Channel, guys. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Put your thoughts in the comments, man. I'll see y'all in the next one.